Hello everybody, this is D King Bay, your book granny here with an unboxing. Oh yeah, it's Waterstones time. I actually know what this one is because I ordered it as soon as I found out they had it. This is going to be Fae Bound. And like I say, I'm excited about this because yes, this is my third copy for those of you who uh, follow me, okay? Yes, this is my third copy, all right? Um, it's Fae Bound by Sarah Ella Rafi. I'm not sure how to say her name, but yes, this is it. I collect them. I collect books as, um, you know, art pieces also. So if I see a book that's really beautiful, I will order more than one copy of it. So this one again is by Waterstones. And I'm seeing a problem on the back that I'll show you in a little bit, but for now, let me go on and show you this. This is beautiful, and as I said, I have three different copies. I have one from Goldsboro. I have one from, I think the other one's from Fairy Loot. And then, of course, I have this one, which is Waterstones. I will say that Waterstone works my last nerve, and <laughs> y'all couldn't see this, but I hope you can see it. Now, up here, the dust jacket's all jacked up. Waterstone has this very bad habit. This is not the first book of theirs that this has happened to. They stuff these books in these boxes without care. That's how it feels to me. A lot of times the box can barely, I mean, the book can barely fit in the box and they just, ugh. I don't have this problem with any of the other boxes that I get with the book covers being jacked up, dust jackets being covered. But anyway, I'm just upset about that. <laughs> anyway, I'll contact them, I'm gonna get this fixed. But anyway, here we go to the edging. I know I showed you the edging, but let me make sure, you know, I got distracted there because I'm seeing out, y'all can't see it as well as me, and it's just annoying the hell out of me right now. I'm so annoyed right now. I'm kind of pissed off. But anyway, this is still a beautiful book, and yes, I'm going to contact them about this messed up cover. <laughs> okay, so let's look on the inside. They don't do um, alternate dust, just, dust jackets, at least I haven't seen it. So we're not going to get that, but here we go. Pretty red book. Actually, I think the original cover of this might be like a tannish color. I'm not sure, but I'll put it up so you can see. Okay, and on the inside, there we go. The end page, they have the map, which I really like. This map is nice. And it's going to be the same for the back end page. There you go. And this is not a signed copy. So I have nothing else to show on there. So that is it. This is a beautiful book. This is the red one. Like again, I think the one on Amazon, I mean the um, original cover, I think it's a tan color. I'm not sure. But anyway, I am very happy. This is a very beautiful book. This is really pretty. I love red too. <laughs> so yeah, this is nice. Um, So that is that. Like I said, I will contact them about these hanky janky covers. They be jacking these dust jackets up. I am not happy about that. But in the meantime, in between time, I do want you to remember that we are doing a group read in February 2024. We will discuss this uh, around the middle of February to the end. So I want to give everybody a chance to go get the book. It is The Ember Blade by Chris Wood Wooding. The Ember Blade by Chris Wooding. I'm like, I think I'm like 37, 38 chapters in. And it is a good book. As you see, it's a big one. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm liking it, though. I enjoy this action pack now. First, it was a lot of development, which I didn't mind. It was actually some good development, and now they're in there doing it. So, yes, it's a good book thus far. So, that is it for today. Well, maybe not, because I did get a book from Broken Binding. So, I'll be right back. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.